It's a Sunday and Joy and I are off for our weekly ride outside. And today is going to be about a four hour ride. And it's a beautiful day right now, but it is supposed to uh, have a chance of rain and, and or thunderstorms later today. Um, that's not supposed to start until the afternoon. So hopefully we can get this ride in mostly in the morning. It's uh, about eight o'clock in the morning right now. So uh, hopefully the, if the weather forecast holds true, then we should be fine. So keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, Joy did a, uh, a workout yesterday, so hopefully, uh, her, hopefully she won't have too much fatigue in the legs. I think she'll be fine. Yeah, she's yeah. she's used to riding. I mean, she did she did workouts five days in a row a few weeks during that training plan. So, um, yeah, I uh, I did a sub threshold workout yesterday and. Yeah, that was a pretty challenging workout. Anyway, I am excited for today's ride. Although it's supposed to rain a little bit later, I'm hoping that it holds off. Um, yeah, four hours today. Tell the viewers what happened. How'd you do on it? Um, well, my segment didn't come up on my Wahoo. I was pretty sure I had it starred. Maybe, maybe I was, I'm wrong about that. But this has happened before, where a segment that I have starred hasn't come up. Um, anyway, uh, so I have really no idea uh, if I got got a PR or not. Um, I did give it my best effort, so whatever that was, I guess I guess I'm pretty happy with the effort. So we'll just see. Um, I'll have to wait till we get home later, and I see you know the stats for the ride. <laughs> stopped at our usual first stop, Squance Pond Park. And uh, again, beautiful day out there. Got some, got some vultures. And uh, probably because there's all this trash that's uh, scattered all over the place, which is uh, not good. And uh, after we get done here in a little bit, we'll be hitting Cozier Hill Road, I think. I think that was on our agenda today. We have, um, I think the climbs, we, main climbs we have today are Cozier Hill, Bulls Bridge Road, and Candlewood Lake Road North. Those are all category fours. Going well so far. Um, seems like Joy's got good energy today. And her legs must be feeling fine because she's um, 
been on my wheel the whole time and or um, taking the front. So I think we're both feeling pretty good today. And uh, we'll uh, hope that the rest of the ride goes well. So it's definitely starting to get warm. Not that I'm complaining, but um, if my back is faced towards the sun, man, you can really feel the sun uh, burning. But it is a, it, it's, it actually is a perfect temperature because we get this nice breeze. It's actually a cool breeze. So it helps to cool me down and uh, you know, the sweat helps to cool me down also. But yeah, um, so far I've been feeling pretty good and I'm beginning to find a pattern here. And I think what I'm finding is that if I do a hard workout before a ride that I care about, I tend to do well. I don't know what it is, but somehow it just happens to work out that way. Um, but I have, what it, I have here is apple fritters and I'm hoping to finish all of this by the end of the ride. Um, so that's what I'm fueling with today. I do have a, uh, I have a couple of gels that I'm taking in also, but not sure. I'll save that one towards the end when I don't really feel like eating. the start of Cozier Hill Road right here. The segment hasn't started yet. Joe's just setting up the drone, but there is a uh, warning to go slow ahead. I don't think that'll be a problem. <laughs> finished the cozier hill climb uh joy had to stop like halfway into it because the drone stopped following us so she was trying to fix that and uh so she had she had to stop and, and start back up so uh she should be coming around the corner here at some point Feel, it didn't feel as awful. Like I didn't feel um, like it was as as difficult off the saddle. So I just attempted the cozier hill climb. Uh, unfortunately, I had to stop halfway because the drone stopped tracking me, which was annoying, and so I had to play around with it. So that's a total wash. Also, I realized that if I put the controller on my uh, my handlebar, I can't actually see my Wahoo. So it's not, I can't really see how I did. And so that was kind of a wash also. But good news is that I felt pretty good um, getting up it. And I actually didn't, uh, it was hard, but it wasn't as tough as I remembered it first few times that I did this. Anyway, yeah, so this was um, good good ride up this hill and actually again i'm pretty surprised that i actually don't feel as terrible as i did the first few times that we've ridden it but it's been a while since i've done this
the ride's turning out to be um, to be a good one. It is such a nice day out here. Um, the there are some clouds, but it's not enough really to it for it to be considered cloudy. Um, it's good because it also prevents the sun from beating down on us. And on the downhills, we get this nice cool breeze to recover on. So it is uh, a beautiful day, and I'm so glad that I get to ride today. Um, I'm just feeling really, really good, even though a lot of the segments are not coming up on my Wahoo for some reason. Either that, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I start a lot of them. Um, I just don't know exactly uh, what happened. Uh, I know that they had an update on uh, it recently. I got an email from Strava saying now with the live segment, they've updated it or they didn't update where you can actually see whoever has the QOM and how far you are away from the QOM. Uh, but I can't actually see it because it's not coming up. A really fun ride so far. Joy is absolutely drilling it. And uh, we've been taking turns at the front and I feel like that's uh, kept us pretty fresh. Um, I didn't check what our average speed is right now, but I feel like we're going at a pretty decent clip. Anyway, we're, uh, we're about to hit up the Bulls Bridge Road climb in a second. And uh, I think we're gonna try to go for some PRs on that one. Just finished the Bulls Bridge road climb. Going into today, I wasn't too sure if, if I was gonna go for a PR on that, but Joy wanted to go for a PR on it, so I said, sure, I'll, I'll give it a shot too. And I got a PR by nine seconds. Sweet. Here's Joy. Um, is my, are my pedals charged? Because they kept zeroing out. They're charged. Huh. Well, my lofty goal of averaging over 200 watts did not work out uh, because it was zeroing out. I don't know what is going on with my pedal. This happened last time. And uh, anyway, so whatever. I don't know. I didn't really average 200 watts that I have planned. Yeah. Mm. It looks like they're still on. I see them blinking. Yeah, but it wasn't. I don't know why I it wasn't. I don't know. Whatever. One of the things that I am working on is being able to eat during the rides. Um, I try to eat as much solid food as I can and I do have a gel that I bring with me just in case I can't take in the solid food. Um, but that's one of the things that if you guys are looking to do longer rides, like four plus hour rides, you really have to fuel. And I experiment on different types of food. Like today, I brought apple fritters. Um, in the past, I've done pancakes with maple syrup. Um, I've also done, Jason does date balls, um, which you can find the recipe in, um, actually GCN had a thing on, on a segment on, on the date balls that they, um, they interviewed the nutritionist for EF education, the team. So anyway, um, eat a lot. Uh, and it's also a nice excuse to eat sweets because by the time I get home, I'm so done with sweets that I actually don't want any more.
so I don't think I mentioned what happened with the drone. Um, yeah, there was a, <laughs> somehow it lost track of me while I was under a tree. And I think it's because it's too, sh there, it, I was under the shadow and so it wasn't able to see me. So it lost track of me and then it stopped tracking. Uh, so I had to get up and or get off the, the bike and figure out what's wrong with it. And then all of a sudden it said that it was, as soon as I got to the very top of the climb, it said that it was running low in battery, even though I literally switched out the battery before the climb. But maybe it's using battery more on when it's on active, active track. I almost lost it again. There's dark ominous clouds up ahead guys so we're trying to avoid it just trying to see if we, we can outrun the cloud i doubt it could be a downpour So we're taking shelter here under this awning. We're at a school right now. I don't know what school this is in, in New Milford, um, but we're taking shelter because there was a sudden downpour and then we can hear the thunder uh, up above. So uh, we don't wanna, we just wanna play it safe. We had a scary experience one time uh, during a thunderstorm. So we're just gonna play it safe, wait for this to pass. It looks like it's just a passing cloud um, so yeah, we're waiting for it to pass so we can finish off our ride. So um, we are probably, what, 10 miles or 15 miles left to go before we get home, I think. Um, yeah, probably 10 or 15. All right. Like yes. Yeah, this, uh, this thunderstorm here brings back some memories of um, a mountain bike ride that we did on our trip to... Um, to Utah a couple of years ago. Got stuck up on a mountain in thunderstorms. Tried to, uh, to take shelter as the best we could, but there really, there really wasn't any good shelter up there. So that, that was pretty scary. This one is much, uh, much less stressful to, to wait it out because fortunately Joy um, thought of the fact that there was a elementary school um, coming up on our route. And so we're, we're just sitting there uh, underneath a, um, you know, a roof and it seems to be pretty safe here. So the thunderstorm should, should pass within 20 minutes or so. So hopefully we'll get back on the road soon and everything will be cleared up. All right, we made it to our humble abode. 
Uh, it is now 1.50, yikes, um, a little later than we hoped, uh, but that's because we got caught in that thunderstorm and we had to wait it out for 20 or so minutes uh, for it to clear up. And it is clearing up now, or it has cleared up, thankfully. Uh, the temperature actually dropped a little bit when we were riding and um, it helped to cool me down. It was actually freezing. Uh, I was shivering. And from that point on, uh, it did start to warm up, to warm back up again. And it's back to the 70s again. Um, kind of bummed that it's now damp and wet and was hoping to have dinner uh, or a late lunch out on the deck with the dogs. So let's see what Jason has to say. Yeah, that was a, uh, a fun ride today. Um, I felt like we both had pretty good legs today and we took turns riding at the front so that you know one of us could, uh, could, could put out some, some good power and, and keep the pace up and, and the other one uh, take a a little bit of a break by drafting behind, and then we, we alternated so that that kept both of both of us pretty fresh. And our average speed ended up being uh, 14.2 miles per hour, which I think we've done before. But um, you know that's a nice solid speed for us. For uh, this ride was almost 53 miles, so that was a solid speed for us. Happy with that, and um, happy that. It turned out the ride turned out to be to have a good ending because we we did have that blip in the middle middle there with the thunderstorm and but we got through that safely fortunately we were able to to find shelter and wait it out and uh, now we're back home uh, safe and happy all right well until next time remember to enjoy your ride mm -hmm.